Dun, 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 dun. Go. Here we are in, se in the central Utah wilderness. We have nothing to survive but ourselves. This is a very dangerous place to live. There's not many things here. Our first step is to make a shelter. But first, we will have to gather our materials. We have established our shelter, and now our main priority is to make a fire. This technique for making fire has been passed down for many generations by our ancestors. Letting your wood be shown on from the sunlight. Days are an excellent source to hold in your heat. They're made out of a flexible fabric-like material that holds in heat very well. The way to maintain body heat is to make a simple blanket. You can do this by weaving together leaves. Get us done. The next thing you want to do is find water. This technique was also passed down for many generations. It is sucking the water out of leaves. One thing you can do is eat snow. But don't eat the snow flavored by the North American black bear. One of the biggest killers of the outside world is getting a tummy ache. One thing you can do to stop this is find some food. Pine cones. Dicks. Mysterious berries. <laughs> I've suddenly just found a wild hippopotamus. One of the most dangerous beasts in the Utah wilderness, but it's also a very great source of vitamin D and calcium. I'm gonna go get it. You can always use the meat to make a Nature Valley oats and honey bar. And it's really good with tartar sauce. You can also use the hippopotamus blubbery skin as a suit. Keeps you very warm. Things can get really boring in the outside. One thing you can do to stop this is find a way to entertain yourself. <coughs> Practicing soccer. <gasps> Playing basketball. Yo. Some can't conceive, man. Some don't believe, man. Some of y'all know for sure, and some not. Playing golf. Four. One way for you to tell the time in the wilderness is to hold your hand out straight. Then you point this hand towards the sun. However many fingers you're holding up is the time. So it's roughly about 5 p.m. right now. Toughest things about surviving in the Utah wilderness is that. What? What is that? What? It appears to be some sort of civilization! Quick! Go! Go! Looks like we found our way out of this one. I'm Bear Grylls. And this is Wolf Ovens. And we'll see you next time on Survivor Mans. Some can't conceive, man. Some don't believe, man. Some of y'all